We drove and we got there in the morning hours at about 9 o'clock. So by the time doctor arrived, she arrived at about 4 in the afternoon. She found us there. But when she came, it was like a long journey. There were like difficulties in the luggage and different things. But then she arrived safely. And I remember she was saying that, you know, trying to get ready and everything. It wasn't enough time. But we were saying to her, like dad said to her and myself said to her that God will make a way. And for sure, God made a way in his sovereignty because she was thinking the message is not ready. But God surely spoke through her that day. God spoke, you know, it was a youth conference, but there were youth at age and youth at heart. You see people who are mature coming up because they want a touch of God. You see people who are mature coming up because they have seen something great that God is doing. God moved for those people who saw the, you know, the huge, the, the, the Facebook uh, clips. God really moved. From the first day, he took us from one level. The second day, he took us to another level. And the third day, sometimes you think that we're wrapping up. But God took us to even a greater level. God used doctor in an amazing way. In a way I've never seen before. 
God used her to speak even accurate things in people's life because I remember even the pastor of that particular church at one point he was stood behind us and he was holding his head as she was praying for these people. She was praying for old people and she was speaking exactly God was using her, exactly what was in their life is how God was using her. So we praise God for the mission, we praise God for the grace, we praise God for his power, we praise God for what he is doing as a ministry because what the way God is using her out there only displays the power of God that we have in our ministry. So as a ministry, we should be proud of what God is doing in our midst and we should really acknowledge the grace of God in our midst. Amen. 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 God, God, God. If you can stand, it's nearly time for the word. We just worship God one more time and we will begin listening to his word.
So Father, tonight we adore you because you are the creator of the universe. We adore you because on this day I am alive because you are alive. Today I am alive because you are alive and you live in me. So I pray that you can break down the walls of our lives, oh God. I pray that you can break the walls of our lives. I pray that you can break down the walls that are stopping us to see the other side, which is a greater worship. And even tonight, I pray that you can break it down, oh God. Amen. Jesus, we glorify you and we bless you and we magnify you for there's no other God like you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even right now, God can begin to fill you up. God doesn't work on routine or schedule, but God is able to do great things for those that have built themselves. Amen. 